Hello, everybody, and welcome to Them Wise Girls. I'm your girl, Jada. And I'm Nelly. And I'm Lala. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you guys had an amazing weekend, an awesome weekend. How is everybody doing? What's going on? How was your weekend? How was your week? Well, my week was fine. We, I had, I had a rough, I won't say rough, but it was, (laughs) (laughs) Um, I had a different class this week. I was with the babies this week. So that was a big adjustment. I used to do the babies when I was beginning of when I used to start working for um, in the school system. But I'm used to the, you know, the teenagers, you know, the ones that hold the hold the conversation. You know, we joking it. But this week I was in the baby's room and they are nonverbal. So it's all about just teaching them how to sit how to pay attention, how to do it. When I tell you every day, I literally walk out with a headache. I was, Mm. I got used to. When you say babies, what do you mean? Four, five? I'm talking like first grade. Like, so about six years old. Oh, six six years old. And these are kids that don't have any structure. They just do whatever they want to do in the classroom. And then you come in and I'm the type to be like, no, no, you won't won't listen to me. Um, (laughs) So that was an adjustment to try to teach a child to sit because they don't sit. And, you know, they have disabilities on top of it. So it was really like an eye opening moment where I was just like, I still want kids. But (laughs) whoo (laughs) wee. be tired (laughs) i was so tired um but this week was really well um this weekend was great i'm going out to brunch with my bestie um so yeah that's that oh and i'm on spring break (laughs) (laughs) oh that's that's a plus what about you law well let me say firstly i'm very jealous that you have spring break and i don't but it's okay (laughs) Um, my week was blah, nothing really eventful, but I will tell you the warmth of this week really gave me great, 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 great motivation, something to look forward to. Unfortunately though, today it's rainy and it's dreary, but I will tell you for those of us that commemorated the death of Jesus Christ, it was a highlight. It was wonderful just to sit and be How do I say, although we're socially distancing and doing it from home, it was nice to know that everyone across the world was partaking of such a momentous event all at the same time. And that was something to look forward to. I do wish it was in person, but it was nice just to see the faces on Zoom and smiling and everybody, of course, put their best on. And it was nice because it really gave you something to look forward to, you know, Um, at home, you know, doing things from the computer, really, you don't look forward to it. But this really gave me something to look forward to. Um, What about you, JD? My week was okay. Nothing much going on. I work like you this week too. The students are off, which is nice. So I do have a little break from them because I don't require them to see me. So I have a little time, me time, I like to say, which is nice. You know, Madi used to say my me time. So I have my little me time this week. So it's nice. So I enjoy that aspect. Um, It was beautiful. Yesterday was absolutely gorgeous outside. I wanted to stay out longer. Um, I enjoyed my day yesterday. As you mentioned, La, we had the commemoration of Jesus' death. So that was beautiful. Me and my mom were saying we were all dressed up with nowhere to go, which we were. We were all dressed up with nowhere to go. But we still had a nice time with each other and, you know, with other friends, you know, Zoom makes you extremely creative Mm -hmm. to do certain things. So I appreciate Zoom for that. And I feel by the time this is all said and done, we are going to be Zoom Zoom people, like legit professionals, because we use Zoom on a day-to-day basis, honestly. So I honestly really appreciated that, that although we couldn't be together in person, you still were able to see everybody. Everybody looks so beautiful, so amazing. So I was very excited about that. That was the highlight for me. Um, as you said, today it's raining, so I don't have much going on today. I'll be home um, preparing for our family game night tonight. That 
that we're going to be having. So I'm, I'm getting some stuff together for that. So I'm super excited about that. And that's pretty much it. That's all going on in my world. So what else is going on? What else, you know, do you guys have going on? Have you seen anything that like, sh- you know, pretty much got you excited or got you thinking about something? Because we know we're all in the world of social media. So Instagram is like it. Facebook is like it. Have you guys seen any posts recently that really made you say, hmm, oh. this is interesting. What's going on? Oh, man. There is one, but I don't I don't know if we should be talking about it, but there is one. It's a big one. It's been on uh social it's been on every social media. Um the the relationship group we call him Derek Jackson. Oh yeah, I saw that. I ain't even yeah. gonna get into that because yeah. I ain't got no time for that. That's a lot. Wow. That's a lot. That's what I've been seeing but no that's pretty pretty much it you know social media is is, yeah that's pretty much it but but i am happy to say that for the uh, memorial yesterday i actually got dressed a full dress not a dress dress but i actually had a skirt on and it's the first time i actually put on a skirt in a year (laughs) (laughs) well i got one for you i put a girdle on with nowhere to go. better than me because I wasn't doing that. We don't put on no girdles. No, we didn't do that. We I, I finished. No, 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 no. Nobody no. seen you but from here up. I don't need no girdle. I know. I don't need no girdle. I haven't worn a girdle in over a year. Yeah, it was a waste. I and I would like to continue it. it for it to be that way. Amen. Amen to that. It was a waste. Yeah. It was a waste because even the photos I took, they were from yeah no did anybody wear shoes no i didn't wear any of them have stockings you had stockings on and shoes oh you had shoes on love oh no no avea avea rose oh avea that's different yeah no no i didn't even have on stockings oh yeah i just had on my dress my jewelry you know my hair was laid even better i went to pink yesterday and she hooked me up i love it like this it Thank looks very you. Nice. She hooked. Yeah. She hooked me up. It was looking real nice yesterday, but you know, I it looks pretty now. Happy. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I just put the flexi rods on it for today. Oh, so. I was gonna say she didn't cut it, but yeah. then I was like, I don't think it's, it's just curl. My hair curls very tightly, so it takes yeah, a while to pretty. loosen out. Thank Girl. you. Yeah, it's it perfect for this weather. It's yeah. gorgeous. Listen, I might put them back on. I'm not going nowhere today. Hey, yeah. I washed my hair yesterday, so that's about it. Okay, now. Sally still has that four for 20. So I went and I got the shampoo by Texture ID. I heard that's Um, really good. Oh, nice. I did not like it, but maybe I brought the wrong one. They'd had a few different kinds. And the woman gave me the waves one because she was looking at my hair. And you know, my hair is in a weird state. Like yeah. it doesn't know if it wants to be curly or wavy. Oh, wavy. And yeah, yeah, then yeah. I still got the perm on the end, the very end. See, see it's about like two inches. Yeah, you got to cut it off. Because Pink was telling me about some products that I could get for my hair that will be good for my hair to help make it more stronger. Um, She has it all on her website, like the products and stuff that you should. I like her because she really tells you about your hair. Like she really like tells you how it is. Okay, this is how it's feeling. This is how your hair should be feeling. These are some products I think would be good for your hair to utilize because I grew up using Nexus products. My grandma to use that wash in my hair I use it so I'm gonna try some of the products she told me about so that way I could you know see the difference because some things might work for you some things might not so you kind of have to see which is gonna work for you which is gonna not work for you and all that jazz I'm gonna try I'm gonna go on the website and maybe try some of those because the texture ID at least like I said the one that I got which I'm going to return, by the way, because I got the whole set because it was 4 oh. for 20. So I oh, was wow. like, oh, oh. Sam. Yeah, yeah. I, I do not like it. So I just don't feel like returning it today because I bought it yesterday and used it. And then just put the, the leave-in conditioner and the serum through it and then let it air dry. And I don't, I didn't, A, I didn't like the shampoo. The mm-hmm. conditioner, okay, this is how the conditioner was, guys. And tell me if I'm crazy. 
What conditioner you guys ever use that look like gloss, like finishing polish gloss? I've that never. You would- Exactly. Mine have always been a, a consistency, like a thick consistency. Yeah, like and a color. Yeah, and a color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not a color. Yes. It, it's like creamy and mm-hmm. what we use. Yes. No, this, no lie, it looked like what you use after you flat iron your hair, the polishing cream, like the polishing oh, gloss. It's like sticky. How did yeah, it make it your was, hair feel after you put it in it? Was it okay, soft? Firstly, it, it, well, my hair's naturally soft. But I felt like it added no condition. Like I had to, so, so what I did was I held the ends and then yeah. combed it to detangle it, which my hair very much, it, it, like it's not a hard, like my hair is not hard to detangle because I don't have real true established curls because they're flat ironed out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, it just did not provide Condition, you know, conditioner is supposed to moisturize the hair, yes. condition your hair. Yes. Yes. I was very disappointed because I was all excited because, you know, Sally's has a lot of minority hair care products now. Thank I you. mean, they have. I just find I am, them to be a little expensive sometimes. Expensive, yes. yes. Well, yes, yes, that's yes, why yes. I went on the sale. That's why I went on the sale. Try Amazon too, because that's where Pink told me to go. Because that's like she oh, has man. like a page of all t- products you could get from legitly Amazon. Oh, so cool. I said, honey, I'm going on that website, and so I'm going to go too. and I'm going to look for the products she told me I need to get for my hair. So. Thank yeah. you for telling us. Yeah, sure. No problem. So I'm going to say this. I saw a post this week that I really, truly like. Um, Beyonce's mom, um, Miss Tina Knowles Lawson. Let me get it right. Actually, I want her to drop the nose and just keep it Lawson. But she yeah. keeps it Tina Knowles Lawson so people know who she is. But anywho, she, she posted a very nice video um, that I want us to just get into and we could discuss. I'm going to pull it up. So just give me a moment. I'm trying to do my technical work up in here. <laughs> Miss text the poll work. I try to be, baby. I try to be. She is. Okay. I actually like you in mustard color. It's pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I got this from Old Navy. They're having a very nice sale right now. 60% off. I got it on Friday. Yes. Yeah. I had to think for a moment. They're having a sale, sixty percent off. So I saw this, and they have it in other colors too: pink, blue, and I forgot the other color they had. Thank it's you. light. Oh. Yeah, I'm it's guessing. light. It's not heavy at all. I thought I was gonna be really, really, really hot, and I'm not. I have a camisole on underneath, but it's nice. It's like you could wear it on a really nice day, just this by itself. It looks yes. pretty. Yeah. 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 Yeah, thank you. Tell you girls, I got my nails done. Oh, nice. Put them up Friday. for us. Put them up. Put them up. No, eh, wait a minute. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Oh, I like that. I like that they are. They're very, very nice. nice. They look cute. Yes. They, these are not going to last for long. Let's just get this clear. The claws are coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like them. I like they that. Nice. I'm ready to do. Can't do it with these. I can't. I, I feel like y'all can't. <laughs> They'll get there. They'll get there. Yeah. Well, Sorry, go ahead and share. Yes. So I'm gonna share the video. That's I'm going back because y'all know I be having technical diff. I just want you to know that I am so lucky. When I fall, you lift me up. Through the crowd, your face is all that I see. I give you everything, baby. Love me like sound. I just want you to know that I am so lucky. So the caption reads Ladies, who's your support system? At your darkest times, who's there to give you light? So at your darkest times in your life, who is there to give you the light that you need in order to move on, in order to grow, in order to get through whatever trying situation that you are going through? Who do you look at as your support system? Who are your go-tos? Who are the people who build you up and lift you up when you're going through a difficult time? 
that that really touched my little tinker. Well, I have a couple. Um, number one is always gonna be always and always, always will be mommy. She's always in my corner, even when I don't want her to be in my corner. She's always in my corner. She's always um since I was little, she's always been there. Um, and now I'm grown and old and she's getting older. <laughs> I think now our relationship is more stronger, maybe because we've been through so much as a you know, as a family and together and now I just like mommy I need my mommy um <laughs> but mommy um I have a close uh bestie she's always like she, I've known her for over I think over 10 years so she's like I need you oh even when she was going through her issues before she got married we were you know we were you saw her you saw me um you guys I have you guys uh, and I also, our other cousin, Nay, she's always a part, it's, it's the four of us, you know, we, 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 we all in the, in the crew, the gang gang. Um, yeah, I have some other friends, but those are mostly like who I call on when I need to get through some stuff. So, yeah. What about you, Lala? Well, most definitely my mama and my daddy. They always got my back through anything and everything, ups and downs and lefts and rights. They always are there no matter what. Um, they help me with my daughter a lot. So I can always really, I, I, only, I only ever can say that they've only supported me. Um, I would say my sister, you guys, of course, like I talk to y'all more than I talk to most people. Um, and of course, hubby. Um, hubby sometimes is is you know men are not it's I shouldn't say that some men are very in touch yes. with their more sensitive side my husband is the typical how do I say the typical typical man yeah the typical man <laughs> is not and um, a lot of times that is a sore spot because it's kind of obvious like at least to me it's kind of like you know well, if I'm upset, you should know that I'm upset and you should know what you should and shouldn't do or say. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I would count him as my support as well. So I like you guys, I do have a lot of support. Um, and sometimes, you know, you push them away, but you treat those that are closest to you, te you tend to treat those that are closest to you the worst. So it's just, you have to be mindful that, you know, you care about them so much that yeah, they're the closest and you tend to lash out at them. You have to be mindful that you, they're the ones that got you back. So don't lash them out, you know, lash at them so hard or so much. JD, what about you? So y'all know my mama, that's my ride or die. That's my home girl right there. That's the, that's the Tina Knowles to my Beyonce. Okay. That's, she's like the number one person. I mean, we, have such a strong relationship we fight because she be telling me right and I don't think she knows 80 90 percent of the time I do be taking her advice she just don't sometimes <laughs> know it but now she do she watched the show she gonna know it um <laughs> for sure both my grandmothers they they really in their own way because they are older so things are different so certain things they don't see maybe the way I see it but they give some really good genuine advice like really legit genuine advice that I really appreciate um, from them. So I appreciate talking to them at times, especially on a deep level, because they really do help me. Even if it's not deep, it's very surface. They'll still say, well, why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? So I appreciate that older wisdom, you know, especially being wise women ourselves. I, I appreciate getting that type of advice. My brother, for sure, you know, that's my homie right there. That's the, we're Brandy and Ray J, just reverse, because I'm the youngest, he's the oldest, but we're Brandy and Ray J. So I'll text him, he ready to go, go get it, you know? So I appreciate that. My dad too, at times I could talk to him about certain things and he'll give me advice. And you guys for sure, because we talk literally every single day, me, you, Nellie and Nay, every day we talk to each other, even if it's just a good morning. 
-hmm. but we talk to each other. So I really appreciate you. And even my mom's bestie, Linda, I appreciate her so much. She's like a second mother to me. Like, honestly, she knew me from the womb when I was in the womb. So, you know, she always does have good advice to give as well. And I always appreciate her for that. So I, I really appreciate Um, having that support system because it's important to have a support system and have people in your corner when you're going through the toughest times in your life and you need people there to help you get through those moments because sometimes we feel like oh I could go through this alone I don't need nobody no you need somebody you need the conversation you need to talk you need to say how you feel I had a friend yesterday I had text her and I was like oh how you doing what's going on and she always be going through certain things and she's like, you don't want to hear about this again. I said, no, I do want to hear about this again because if it's bothering you, I want to know why it's bothering you. So no, I do want to hear about what's going on with you because maybe there's, we could rectify it. Maybe there's a different solution to the problem. I don't know, but I do want to hear about it. I never feel like somebody doesn't want to tell you something because they talk about it all the time. No talk about it. If it's bothering you, say it. And I remember that in a Tyler Perry movie. I think it was, I think it was family reunion, not family reunion. It was the other one with with the daughter, the two daughters who were always fighting with each other. Which one was that? And it came on the other day. Is that my um, like family reunion? This is the family one reunion's that... the other one. It's with the two sisters who were close, and the husband, the fiance, was beating her up. Yeah, and what's her reunion. name? Was it this one? No, this wasn't family reunion. This oh, was no, the no, other no. one. It's the other one. The Bow Wow, Bow Wow, and Tiana Taylor was in it. She was Byron. It's that one. This one where he said, if you have something going on in your life, don't keep it a secret. Share it. Say it. Say how you feel. Say what is going on. Oh, man, that's going to bother me. I'm going to get it. When I'll get it, I don't know. But I am going to get it. (laughs) I'm sorry. I haven't watched. Yeah, I I do. It just came on the other night, and I was watching it, and I just can't remember the name. (laughs) I'm a Google I, it. I'm a Google it. There you go. I do. <laughs> I do also want to put out there since I did not mention her. My sister. My sister. My sister. My sister. We are like two peas in a pod. Okay, my two two my big head. Hey, big head. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's one, also one of my support systems. You know, when you you know like you lie or in you, you date. When you grow up with a sibling, you know, you guys grow up together. And then sometimes, you know, life happens, you separate, but you come back together. So she is one of those that knows me, you know, she tells me, I tell her, you know, when we, when she was here, when we were growing up together, we were always close. I remember when um, mommy was pregnant with, with, the baby I said I want a little sister I got one (laughs) (laughs) I got one and I used to call her her name is I used to call her Danielle when she was little I don't know but that's what mommy said so that is my other support right I love you sissy I call her sissy that's a little nickname but yeah it's that's Tyler nice. Perry's big happy family. That's the oh. movie. Yes. I don't remember that one. Yeah, it's with Bow Wow, Tiana Taylor is in it. A couple of other people, Loretta Divine, she's in it. Oh. It's that one. I've seen Great all, all of those ones. Yeah. I do want to mention though that both of you brought up two very nice things. One. Um, Nell, it's nice that you have that memory of your mom having had CC or having CC because, I mean, Jade and I never experienced that because we're the babies of the family. But it's nice that you have that memory. Um, I look a lot, oops, sorry. I look a lot at Avea Rose and all of the memories that she has created for my family being the baby. And it's like, I feel bad, but 
I don't think she's going to have that same experience. That's okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. I know plenty of people who are only they children one, who yeah. do very, 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 very well. well. And, yeah. and I find that they do have like a huge support system because they have their family, if they're in a family, who have, you know, other other cousins and their parents are like one of four or five. They have support systems. So systems. I can't talk to that. They have that. They have friends. I find them to be more outgoing, and we know Ve Ve, honey. She yeah, told yeah, her, she know yeah. everybody. She'll let yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. it is, and she honest, and I love her for that. She is honest. She low key was telling me I needed to go on a diet, but I didn't want to pay attention <laughs> to the signs. But she was being nice about it, and I appreciate her for that. So I think she would be an okay only child. I I have a story to tell y'all about her. But before we do that, I wanted to mention something that I admired about you, Jade. You had mentioned that part of your support system, two folks that you uh, include in your support system are your grandmoms. And that's so nice that you do that because, you know, a lot of times when you get older, folks tend to, so to speak, push you away. And, oh, you're, you're older. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't live in the modern world. You don't know. But it's really nice that you have continued to have that relationship with them and that you talk about them and you, you, you how do I say, you value the advice that they give you. But um, thank you. Well, you know, with one of the original wise women. So, you know, they love giving us some good advice. So, I wouldn't be where I am without, you know, my original wise woman in my None life. None of us honestly. would. Honestly. None of so, us would. And I it's only it. right, baby. It's only right. Because she out here texting and doing the whole nine. I'd be like, okay, now. Get it, sis. It's crazy to see her her text, her name come across and text me. You're like, like, who taught her how to text? <laughs> Shout out to Nene's mom for teaching her how to text. Thank you. <laughs> now we all get these amazing texts from all her. All of us. <laughs> Wait, actually, I still don't get them, so it's fine. <laughs> to make that then, change. Oh, oh, oh. I'm good. I, I do want to tell y'all a joke. And I think I told JD this joke, but you didn't hear this one. Uh-oh. So my mother and my sister came over the other day because I had an important work call and Ave has been really, really great with work and everything. However, it was a call that I really was a little nervous about in terms of I had to present and everything. So, you know, when you're speaking already, you're nervous and that's in person. So, you know, over Zoom doing a presentation is very you nerve wracking because you're like, am I going to have technical difficulty? What if the thing goes down? Am I going to freeze? Am I being received well? You know, am I looking at the camera? You know, I don't want them to think I'm not looking at them. So, you know, so it's very, it gives you great anxiety. Yeah. So my mom and my sister came over and they, they were, I think they were leaving or something or where they just coming to drop something off. I don't know. It was something like that. But nonetheless, we were at the door, me and Viva and them. They were going to the car. So tell me how my daughter, someone's walking past, pushing a stroller, two women pushing a stroller and one child in tow. Uh My daughter yells out, mommy, she's got green hair. Okay, now you all, ha- we've all seen color purple. You know how when silly, when they go to the bar and they're at the bar and there's about to be a fight and they say, time to go. And every, the man closes up the piano, pulls the piano thing down over the keys and they all leave and oh. depart because the fight is about to, to take off, to, to happen. That's what happened. Literally, I pulled her in, closed the door. My sister and my mother scurried to their car and- <laughs> drove off and I went to the window to see if the woman passed and she kept going I called my sister and I said embarrassing but my daughter's so loud like her mother yelled uh-huh. out she's got green hair oh she got yeah. green hair oh man <laughs> yes but remember I told you guys that she also in the dollar store said that the woman's hair was messy yes yes I remember that that was that's what I said she's honest she's an honest child 
child. Let me tell you, yeah. I remember what well, well, I'm sorry for mother. I remember mommy said that we were living in Brooklyn and she said we were going in the um the elevator. And mommy said, <laughs> mommy said, go in the elevator, go in the elevator. You know, I said, no. And she said, why not? <laughs> I said, because he's fat. So. <laughs> she pulled me in so so quick. It's such a point in here. And, yeah, so. It's I know the honest you feel. truth. Yeah. We should be in real with you, and I could appreciate that. I'd rather her be honest than to lie. I'd rather yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you know. know. It's, it's okay, BB. It's 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 in it's in the blood. It's in the blood. I'd rather <laughs> be honest with y'all because she get keep. Oh, she be honest. I already got Jesus. my honesty from her. Tell me, I need Ew. porridge. <laughs> oh well, get this. I got my honesty. Me too. She told she told me. She says, "Mommy, you're grande," and I'm Who? okay. <laughs> So she knows. She knows. <laughs> she said you are grande. Maybe telling you off in another language. I can't take it. Yes. That's too much. Oh my goodness. I'm so- <laughs> oh. But I always enjoy talking with you, lady. Yes, it's always a good time. And if you guys haven't been to our YouTube page, please check it out. All of our videos get uploaded there on a weekly basis. So for those of you who do not have a Facebook page, you could happily go on our YouTube page. Make sure you like and subscribe to our page as well so you could stay up to date with all of the Wise Girl episodes. So we hope you enjoyed our show. We hope you have a fantastic week. Be safe. It's supposed to be pretty nice out a little bit this week. So take advantage of it until it gets cold again. It's crazy. Mm. This weather is bananas. And if you have a business you want us to promote, please let us know down and send us down there in our email, themwisegirls at gmail.com. And we'll be sure to follow up with you. So we hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday and we will check you out soon. Thank you for watching Them Wise Girls.